Yo, 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 it's your boy Slain Digital checking in, man. You already know what time it is, man. I'm over here rocking with hip-hop since 1987, man. Y'all go log in, go check them out, man. We dropping everything hot over there, man. Let's get it. Shout my hip-hop since 1987, niggas. Hip-hop since 1987.com. You know what it is, your man, Eldorado Hip Hop since 1987. We live in the A right now in the lab. We got the honor and the pleasure of being with one of my homies and whatnot. Been doing this thing in the A for some time. He goes by the name of Sunny Digital. What's going on, player? What up, what up, what up? What's going on, Hip Hop since 1987, man? You know what time it is, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, you got a lot of things going on in the streets right now. You know, you've had major place placements that have been circling the airways for the past few years. Futures, Racks on Racks, songs with 2 Chains, Kanye, the list goes on and on and on. Yeah. But... Outside of your producer bag, we're definitely going to get into, you know, your producing and what, what comes about as far as that goes and whatnot. But you've been doing a lot with artists in Atlanta recently and whatnot. Yeah. You've been breaking a lot of artists in this area as well. Mm -hmm. So I want to ask you, you know, what goes into the process of you breaking these artists? We have, you know, artists we just talked about, Wavy Wild, Wireless and whatnot. McConan, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Make sure I get that brother name right. Yeah. And it's a lot of other artists that you've been breaking. You know, you started off with Q and things of that nature. Yeah, right. So when you're when you're breaking these artists, what what formula or what process do you normally use? Um, really, it's just fun. You know what I'm saying? That's just really the, the 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 basic basis of it though. Like just we just go and just do it for fun, then it just turn into something though. It don't be like it's the ultimate goal. You know what I'm saying? Like we we want to make you into some type of superstar. We want to just go in and go make some music that. That we like listening to, you know what I'm saying? And like I was telling you earlier, though, like the music that we like listening to just happened to be the same thing that everybody else like listening to, you know what I'm saying? But we just really just solely going in, just, oh, I just want to make some shit for this person, just see how this shit going to come out, see how it's going to sound. And, you know, it come out sounding good, people eat it up, you know what I'm saying? It's, just, it's really it's easy for us, though, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, when you're doing something, you're doing it for fun. You're doing it for your own pleasure, you know what I'm saying? You ain't doing it to please nobody but yourself, you know what I'm saying? And once you meet that... Meet that standard to where you please or whatever, don't put it out, you know what I'm saying? No matter what it do, you're going to be happy. It's going to be successful to you, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's really just, you know, like, you just go and just have fun. It ain't really, like, no no guidelines to this shit, man. It's like you just go in and go crazy, do your thing, and shit, make it happen. Just make music, man. Now, you can't, you know... Uh you have your own things going on with your brand, Sunny Digital, you know what I'm saying, and things of that nature. But Metro Booming, mm -hmm. 808 Mafia, TM88, you know, you guys, have, as we just gave mention to, have been responsible for breaking a lot of artists, Young Thugs, and things of that nature. What is it about your sound that, you know, has the, the hip-hop world on lock right now? You know, the South has a strong, a strong grip on the hip-hop world right now, and you're one of the catalysts behind that. So what is it about your sound that just draws artists to your music? Um, honestly, to be 100, I don't even know, bro. I really don't even know. Like, it's, it's be so weird. Like, I mean, I don't know. I guess they're easy to rap to, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, we, we got it on lock to a certain extent, and we, we didn't, like, built our name up, too, though. So, people are used to our sound, though. So, I mean, they probably, like, even before people was blowing up, though, they probably was already used to hearing, like, some same digital beats or Metro Boomin beats or whatever, though. So, by the time when they get to the level they can rap on them, though, they... Already amped up and already ready ready for it though. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how I look at it though. But I mean, as far as like, I don't really know what it is as far as like with me or whoever beats or whatever though. But I know me personally though. Like when it comes to my beats, though, I'm not like the biggest fan of my beats and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like after I make a beat or after I make any music though, for real, I don't even listen to my own stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like after I do that, I don't even listen to my own stuff. I don't even listen to the track I made before. After I close it, it's closed. You know what I'm saying? Until somebody asks for the files or whatever for it though. But I really, I really couldn't call it though. I mean, I guess we just make good beats. You know what I'm saying? Good music. We just try. You know what I'm saying? We just do what we do. You know what I'm saying? Now, a lot of people in the in the music world, no matter what genre of music you work in, you know, they say that your lifespan is normally short. Mm -hmm. However, I've known you for about four years now, and I've yeah. seen, you know, your career take off and continue to take off. Right. So longevity is a word that doesn't go with a lot of artists and producers these days, but we can associate that word with Sunny Digital. Right, right. What, is, what is it about yourself, your brand, and your sound that keeps you so relevant? I mean, first off, I mean, being a producer and shit, like, really, people got to understand, like, we almost, we getting into, like, the light of being an artist now, you know what I'm saying? And so that that means that we, we got to go out, go party, just have a face on the scene, first of all, though. Then on top of that, too, we got to just stay relevant and keep on working and work with all the new 
things that's going on, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just got to stay on top of everything, though. Like, it's really, like, as far as, like, with me, like, that's really just my formula, though. It's like, I look at it like a job, though, you know what I'm saying? I, I take it as a job, though. It is my job, though, you know what I'm saying? So I treat it like a job. And so, basically, I, it's like, the more work I put in, the more work I'm going to get out. And I've been saying that forever, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's really like a job, because I, I even noticed it, like, it be so weird. I don't know if it's, like, God trying to tell me something, though, but, like, it might be one week where I just just be working, 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 then a stupid-ass check just come in. There might be one week when I don't do shit and don't shit come in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, really, it's really like that. It's like a job, though. Like, the days that I don't work, I don't get paid. The days that I do work, I get paid. You know what I'm saying? That's how I just look at it, though. I mean, I, I, I mean, it's my living. You know what I'm saying? So I got to keep on working. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't really like... I don't think it's about, like, um... Like your longevity or nothing like that though. I think I think like a lot of people only reason they don't last long though is because once you hit a certain peak or once you get to a level that you never been to, what feel what may feel comfortable to you, it might make you just wanna just like sit down and relax, be like, Well I made it now though, you know what I'm saying? Versus like people certain people like when they a lot of people get to that point real quick. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't even know, like before like for the last four years as you know me though, I was probably doing it I was probably making beats probably like Eight years prior than prior than what you had already met me, you know what I'm saying? Like I was already working, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I had been working for eight, eight, nine years already though. So by the time I got in the game, it's kind of like that's just what I'm used to, you know what I'm saying? That that's just what I do, you know what I'm saying? And like, like that's what I was saying too. Like a lot, a lot of people they don't see like they only see these these, these last four, five years that I've been in the game though. They don't see the, the years before that though, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's really like a lot of groundwork that I had to actually put in, you know what I'm saying, to get to where I'm at though. But I just started so. Young, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of easy to kind of like overlook that though. I started like in middle school, you know what I'm saying? Where it really was a hobby, you know what I'm saying? And so it was like we just doing it for fun, but now it became like a career and stuff, you know what I'm saying? But that's just how that's how I came up and did what I did or whatever though. For producers or, or entertainers, singers, rappers who are looking to get into the music business, you just said something that was, I think was very important, you know, for people didn't see the work you put in prior to. Yeah. Why don't you explain to our viewers and our listeners why it's so important, you know, like to to, to carry out with that dream? And you know, like God, I'm quite sure there were times in that eight to nine nine year span where it was like, damn, I don't, you know, like it's not booming, it's not but, booming. You see, what you and that and that, like I just said, I was I was so young at that time though. All I was doing was going to school, so I ain't have I really ain't have no nothing to really take care of, but. A fucking phone bill or some shit like that, which ain't nothing but like forty, fifty dollars. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't really like when I was doing it, it was almost kind of like I was doing it stress free, like stress free, like all the way. Like it wasn't like no, no stress for me like to do that because the only thing I had to do was get up and go to school. I feel like it's it's harder to keep your ball rolling. Like when you when it roll, you got to keep you got you got to keep it going though. Like when you at a state of like where you want to come up and stuff. You still got downtime to really like sit back and figure out what you want to do. But when that ball rolling, it's kind of like you got to move with that motherfucker. And you can't stop though. It's like you you can't really sit down and kind of think. You just got to keep on going, keep on pushing that motherfucker though until you get to, I guess, a certain level to where that ball can't roll no more. Where you roll that motherfucker all the way back to where you started it. You know what I'm saying? But that's why I be trying to tell a lot of people, like a lot of people that that ain't already in it though. Just kind of like just. Look at look look at it as a good thing though, because right now, like as far as even like an artist or producer or anybody though, right now is a time where you can really just stack up all your material and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You can stack up all your material. So let's say when you come in the game and you catch that one hit, now you got a hundred more of the motherfuckers to back that shit just because all the work you had been doing before. You know what I'm saying? Because when you catch that one hit, everybody gonna be knocking at your door for the same thing. And if you got enough of that shit, you gonna stay. Your ball gonna be rolling for that for the next two, three years, just off of that one song and, every, and all the work that you put in before, before you was on. You know what I'm saying? It's like that's why I be like, I, I be trying to tell people like, man, don't be so eager to hop into it though. Just, just get your shit right, motherfucking. Just take your time though, because once you get in, once you get in, if you plan on staying there, man, you gotta motherfucking constantly keep on fucking working. Like you just gotta constantly keep on working though. Versus like somebody who already, it's basically like you putting up fucking. Money and shit like it's kind of like you got it saved and shit until some shit popped or until you got to use it and shit though. You know what I'm saying? Like you got all these beats saved up and when one popped though, now you got a whole bunch of these motherfuckers. Like you got a whole bunch of songs ready and shit too. Like it's really like you lathering yourself up for 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 the game and shit though. Like you you in practice right now and by the time you get in the game, you're gonna be a fucking star player. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it though. Like right now, like it's it, I mean right now, well my my situation a little different though too though because when I actually got through the door. My hard drive crashed, so all the work I had put in before was gone. So I had to start from the ground up again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's crazy. Then on top of that, when I caught the next song, my hard drive crashed again. So I had to do that shit again. 
Then when I caught the next one, it did it one more time. I had to do that shit again. That shit just kept on crashing. So it kept on crashing. So it was like every time I kind of got into it, it was like, like I had to keep on starting back over though. But I had already like it was that. Now that's a lot of pressure. Like when you got to start back over and everybody at your door, but you got to tell them, man, I ain't got enough for everybody. I ain't got enough. I can't. I can't do this though. Cause if you ain't got it though, somebody else gonna have it. You know what I'm saying? But that's all right. That's all the way real now. The title One Hit Wonder is definitely something that can't be associated with you, you know what I'm saying? Because you've had music on the billboard charts, your music is in the strip clubs, and the clubs taking over and things of that nature. But speaking of keeping the ball rolling, I understand you're also working on a new project. Mm -hmm. So why don't you elaborate on that project that you got coming up and also let us know some artists that we can look out for on the project. Um, I'm actually doing like a, it's almost kind of like a compilation, almost kind of like Metro Diz 19 and Booming. Okay. It's, it's really exactly the same thing, though, but it's going to be a sunny digital version, though, slick. You know what I'm saying? It's going to okay. be me just going with all the major artists that I fuck with and that I know, and like even some of the upcoming artists that I fuck with. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to put it all on one project with all new beats and everything, and I'm going to be collabing with like everybody, favorite producers and stuff. Like, it's going to be like a real, like, like a real project and shit though. It ain't gonna be like no bullshit. And it's, I'm really, I'm really doing it for myself though too. Cause I just want it's like, like I told you, I want to do this shit for fun. And I just want to make something that, that I like. You know what I'm saying? And the shit that I usually like is the shit that everybody else like too though. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's cool. It's gonna be a cool little project though, man. I'm going in on some Kanye West type shit. I'm gonna go grab everybody, choirs, people playing all the live instruments and stuff. I'm just trying to take it to a whole another level though. Cause I feel the way I feel with Atlanta music is it's kind of like at a, it's at a, it's like it. A steady little line right now, and I want to kind of take it above that just a little bit, though. You know what I'm saying? And on top of that, too, I, I want to show people like what I can do, though, because people really only know me for like making hard hitting bass trap shit. You know what I'm saying? But that ain't even really like. I mean, that's why I started it, though. But that ain't where I want to end it, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm a little more versatile than just doing that shit, though. But people come to me for that, though. So that's what I got delivered to these people, though. But when it's my project, I mean, I got all the control on it and stuff. So I can really give y'all what I want y'all to hear. You know what I'm saying? And I want y'all, I want everybody to hear what I can do. Aside from all this trap shit, though, and all this shit that's already been out, though. But there's going to be a lot of artists on there, though. Like, um, I'm working on, I'm working on everybody, though, right now. I know, um, I talked to 2 Chains. He said he got me K-Camp, um, Wiz. Um, talked to Thug. Thug said he got me um, plies, doing plies, fucking um, okay. Q. Um, I mean, really, you could throw names at me for real. I'm pretty sure, like, if I, ain't, I mean, if you throw some names at me and I ain't got them on it, I'm gonna reach out to them. And I'm okay. pretty sure that they'll, that they'll fuck with me though, because I mean, it's all, it's really all love though. You know, like, we got Ace Hood too. I'm gonna get Ace Hood on it. Um, a little bit of everybody though. Um. I don't know. I, and another thing too, I just kind of want to keep like I don't want I'm, all the names I said though. They probably not gonna make it on this one project though because I like the project I'm gonna do is I want I want to make it probably like eight to ten songs or whatever though. But I want it to be like eight to the ten of the best songs. You know what I'm saying that I probably ever done though. So I'm gonna kind of like knock the list down though. But and then I, I just don't want it to be like all just top of the line major artists and shit though. I want it to be motherfucking people that still kind of coming up though, you know what I'm saying, I, I don't want to like goddamn box myself in and shit, though. I still want to motherfucking have the sky's the limit though with somebody though, you know what I'm saying though, instead of like the people who already made it to the top, you know what I'm saying though, I still want to kind of go back and reach back to people who still building their career and stuff though, because I feel like I'm still building my career though too, you know what I'm saying, we might as well just build together, you know what I'm saying, and so that's how I'm looking at it with that project though, but I'm not even sure. To be honest, I don't even, I don't even know when that project coming out. Now I was going. I had said it for. I had said it for August the fifteenth, like a month ago, because I thought I was thinking like, man, this shit gonna be easy to put together though. But once I actually got into the groove of it though, and seeing how like the the schedules of everybody kind of conflict and stuff, I was kind of like, we're gonna have to push this back though. I'm probably just gonna release a song on the fifteenth and stuff, and just give them something though. You know what I'm saying? You give them like a little sample of what I'm working on. It's just nothing crazy though. But I mean, I, I mean, I've been keeping constant though. Been putting out shit like with everybody though, for real, like McConan and shit though. I've been putting out shit with him, like daily, not daily, but we've been putting out shit just to keep everybody like in the fucking circle and keep the steam going around me and shit though, and everybody else too. But I mean, I don't know. It's just it's gonna be a fun project though. I want to do something for everybody though, something for everybody to listen to, and myself too. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. I, I respect that from you know. I definitely respect that. I want to know. 
what you doing so much with not only mainstream artists but up and coming artists as well, what you having your ear to the streets for what's next and what's hot and kind of like being a trendsetter and cultivating what's next. Mm-hmm. Could we possibly see a label situation where maybe, you know, like Sonny Digital has his own label and, you know, like he's grooming different artists and things of that nature? Yeah, yeah, actually, um, I don't mind telling y'all though, but uh, the label I'm a, um. And I, we had we had a little label before, but I'm I'm kind of renovating it though. When I came with a new name, I'm gonna call it Five Sixteen. I don't know if I'm gonna do Five Sixteen Records or Five Sixteen Music or something like that though. But you should probably know what that means. Those it's the um, my door number. You know what I'm saying? And I, it's been so much shit that that didn't happened over at, at this spot that we in right now. We didn't have multiple interviews in here though. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You didn't interview a couple people in my spot though. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like I, I'm using that name just because it's got so much. I, I I can tell the story behind it though. So five sixteen is gonna be the actual label that I'm gonna run with though. But then um, what I'm gonna do for real is I'm gonna um, I'm gonna start I'm gonna start signing like a couple of artists. Not too much for me not to handle, or not be able not to be able to handle and stuff. I'm gonna sign a couple of artists for me to work with, and then um, really I'm gonna go hard on the producers. Though I'm probably I'm probably gonna sign a gang of producers though. Well, I know for a fact I am though, cause I didn't like I was telling you too. I got like I got some producers that I got been on the back burner for probably like a year and a half, a year or whatever though. That's just been keeping in contact with though. But just because my situation, I ain't want to move on the business. But now my situation about to be up. So now I want to kind of bring them in and help everybody out and everybody get money and we just bang out like that though. But for those who may not actually be in the South or be in the Atlanta area, who are some artists or some projects that you think folks should be on the lookout for? McConan, <laughs> McConan got he, he going crazy though, and then um, Q Q got a dope project too. Um, Mike Fresh and all the artists I'm working with, Chip, Wavy Wallace. And uh, I mean, as far as like y'all know, everybody already know the major people though. But I'm trying to get y'all the scoop on the people who's probably gonna be coming up and sneaking up on you though. And now, and now we got it recorded. Now, now you, <laughs> now, now you got the proof. One of these names is gonna pop. I can guarantee you, Bankroll Fresh. Somebody gonna pop out this bunch. I can guarantee you that though. So, out of them couple of people I named though, just I feel like y'all should look for them though. Like, I can guarantee you, though, I can put my last, my last cent on whoever it is though that they gonna pop though, and motherfucking. There's a lot of people out here though, but those are just the people I know for a fact. Like out of that list, somebody's gonna pop off that motherfucker though. Somebody is though. As 2014 moves along, we know you got a lot of things in store. You got a project that you're gonna be working on. It's gonna be dropping real soon. 516, the label or records, you know, is in the works and whatnot. You're also gonna start taking on a new hat as being, you know, more of a businessman versus yeah. being a producer and whatnot. So what else can we look for from Sunny Digital as 2014 moves along? That's a lot of shit. Really, like too much shit. It'd be like it'd be too much for me to handle. I got um, I got my um, my little um, video production crew that I'm working on right now, Bird Films and stuff with my cousins and them. We we working on that. And then um, actually um, um, somebody hit me up about doing like a clothing line too, though. You know what I'm saying? Doing like a little little slick little clothing line and stuff like for producers. And I was gonna do that. And then um. I was really, I, I'm really, I'm really, I've been real indecisive about this shit too, though, or even not, not consistent on it. I ain't really been on it like that much, though, but um, it's actually this little headphone company called 808. I've been trying to, um, like, actually, like, do, like, a little, like, some, like, some type of campaign with them, with, with them and um, all the producers out here, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, some, some, like, almost kind of like Beats, Beats by Dre, though, but it's a little more affordable for people, though, you know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it, though, and I feel like if we did, like, a collaboration with those headphones or... Anybody who got headphones or whatever though, you know what I'm saying? It'll be like, it'll be a good, it'll be a good move for them though because it's like, shit. If they, if all the producers see us using it, then I'm pretty sure they gonna want to use it too. You know what I'm saying? And if it's at an affordable price and good quality, then you know what I'm saying? I feel like that'd be a million dollar move right there for whoever want to do it with us though. You know what I'm saying though? So I don't know. I'm just we just business plans coming up with all type of shit, man. Shit that'll work. You know what I'm saying? Just thinking about shit, man. But. It's a lot of shit, man. It's like this shit don't stop, man. For all our viewers who don't already who've been sleeping under a rock, how can they go about following you via social media? Everything at Sunny Digital, S O N N Y D I G I T A L. Hey, and one more thing, um, we're doing a showcase too. We've okay. been doing a showcase. We started the first one in me and Metro. It's me and Metro on showcase. We started the first one in St. Louis and uh, Metro hometown, and uh, we're going we're going back to St. Louis. We've been doing Atlanta, Miami, New York, and LA and stuff though. But it's a it's a it's a cool showcase like for the artists and everything to come out and show us what y'all can do. Basically, it's um. It's cool. Once it get to the city, y'all, y'all, I'm pretty sure y'all find out though. But we, 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 we would, we'll, we'll, we'll go like to all the cities that's like, um, like in high demand or whatever though for us to come through. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. 
like we, we know Miami and all them other places like that's like where a lot of artists are so we automatically gonna go there though but like all the in between states like the um, whole DMV area like they request for us to come I'm guessing that we'll probably do that too though but the showcase that's what we've been doing too though the showcase is, is actually pretty dope I'm not even gonna lie like it ain't it ain't like um the regular degular fucking um, showcases out here in Atlanta and shit though <laughs> there's actually something to put together though and it's real beneficial for the artist though you know? yeah we'll make sure we have all the details for you immediately following this interview in the description so if you want to stay in contact with Sunny and Metro and find out how the showcase can come to a city near you just click the link immediately below the video following this interview and all the information will be provided there you know what it is your man Eldorado Hip Hop since 1987 we live right now in the lab with my man Sunny Digital make sure you stay tuned to Hip Pops in 1987 for a lot more from this brother.